And it's green! The gingerbread man is getting stabbed! We gotta do it. No one likes the gingerbread man. The guy's a chode. He's a chump. What are we gonna do? Alright, um... Sure. 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 Okay. Good hand. Uh, let's bounce some flasks on him. I need armor. There's no armor to be had in our... Ah, there's a backflip coming up. Alright, give me armor. Oh, I got lied to. There's no backflip. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Alright, what are we doing? Upgrade to expertise, draw to eight. So it gives you four draw. If you if you open in this in your hand, you only have five cards. You can draw to draw four cards out of that. It's pretty pretty solid. Draw four for one. We got bouncing flask, we can lots of bouncing things everywhere. And we can apply four poison. All could be really strong here. We have no we don't have four mana, so this makes it a little bit harder to use this. So you just draw to eight cards and you're like, why do I have fucking eight cards in my hand? What am I gonna do with these? I can only use one of them. But it's an, it's an idea. It's the idea that counts. Then you can throw some daggers at the gingerbread man to take out your frustration. And uh, you're probably uh, you're probably still good for the next round. All right. What do you got for me? How are you saving my deck? Oh, that's a really good one. We're three gold off, though. We're, one, we're three gold off this as well. Unfortunately, we could buy both of these. We need that healing. Shuriken. We have like one shiv and it's not consistent and I mean we have no defense card so I guess there's something to be said about that. Alright, we'll buy the Shuriken. And could outmaneuver. We're not going to. Alright. Bet this doesn't cost zero. Uh oh, just took my last armor card out. I was expecting it since I don't have many armor cards. It'd be better that way, but it was not. Uh, can't play that card. I guess let's draw. Draw. Okay. Mm. Get six armor out of this. Can I kill this guy? This is twelve. It's twenty one. 29. Yeah, he's actually dead. Okay. First boss is gonna annihilate us. Hmm. 
Hmm. What do you guys think? Deck's going pretty good right now. We have our used up lizard tail. We're like just like sucking on the marrow out of that thing. Just where it attaches to the nub of the lizard tail. Desperately hoping it carries us along. I don't think it's going to, guys. I think we are shit out of luck. Okay. Uh, we need to dodge bosses here. We're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I, it's going to cost us. It's 1, 2, 3. So it's 6 plus 10. It's 16 health to take this. But maybe it could save us. Make it keel right after. Ah, nice. Random powers. Okay. What do we get? Randomly accurate. I like it. Bit of armor. Give him a flying knee to the jump. We can actually knock him out of air. Didn't have to armor. Well, I didn't have the three attack cards still then. Is it worth knocking him out of the air? Probably. Okay. No draw. So it's one, two. We got accuracy, right? Exactly the strongest of decks slash hands slash experiences here. Okay. Aren't I glad I kept going? Oh yes. <laughs> Particularly thrilled about this deck. Alright, we're there. We made it. Success. I feel like we need to call in the Predator. I think only the Predator will be able to save us at this point. How would we not Predator anything? What we're hoping for is Predator into Sneko. And we counter Sneko using the Predator. Yeah. I see you guys are on the same page. It's synergy. We heal, do damage, and Predator. Good, good. Doesn't have good synergy with Shrukin, but that's okay. I think we'll make it work. All right, do you guys want to fight a boss right now? I guess we're trying to we're trying to be serious about this run still. So let's go in here. Okay. Nice, nice pickup. We got the Predator in our opening hand, no less. We're gonna need some armor since he does 11 followed by 22. We don't seem to have drawn any armor. I think this is blocked by that. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, it's gonna be trickier after this for sure. Gonna weakness him now, though. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Give me another seven, puts me up to 18. Means I take none. Okay. Only at eight right now. It's good. Just draw. Need to keep him weak. Did armor there. Didn't get it. Okay, I'm taking eight. Sixteen is kind of a lot. We have the predator. I'll do 17 and dagger spray for the easy victory. It's no problem. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're solid. Let me take a chat. What glorious uh, thing will we increase our dex power with? Oh, what is Ascension 14, by the way? Lower max HP again. Okay. Oh, not. It's lower max HP. I see. Discard synergy with dagger throw. That's true. All right, relic. Bronze scales. Okay. Uh oh. Snake plant. So your cost footwork will go a long way. Need to draw. Yeah, about that. Okay. 24. Shit, where was the predator when we needed it? We're dead. It's 18. Rip. All right. More, uh, more of this guy, I think. What's the time looking like? Got a little bit of time. All right, back on the silent. Let's embark. Let's get a better deck, guys. I think that deck was fairly shit. Uh, random rare relic. Enemies next three combatants have one HP. That's so good. Can we get there? Yeah, we. Well, one, two. There's a maybe. Can maybe get there. Let's try it. All right, what's the first card, chat? Flying knee early, I think, is very solid. I think flying knee early may be the most solid choice we have here. Give him a knee to the balls for extra mana. Shiv is fucking bad. Don't cloak and dagger me, chat. This is not, not the cloak and dagger that you think it is. This is that these are not the shivs you're looking for. Cloak and dagger is a very weak skill. Knee to the balls. Straight in the balls. Look at that. Look at that impact crater. Think how much that hurts. Alright. Receive a golden idol. Trigger a trap. I don't really want a golden idol. I'm not, I'm not excited by this exchange. Okay. Alright. Let's get rid of Parasite. Uh, what's, I can't see anything because your fucking hand's in the way. Get your hand out of the way. Uh, a dash early could be really solid. We did shift deck this morning, chat. We have to be more reasonable about these things. I would love to remove Parasite. I can be talked into dash. I feel like dash carries you so hard through the early game. Alright, let's do it. I hate having Parasite in my deck, though. Okay, uh, did we make it or not? Did we get screwed? Oh yeah, it's, this one is the guaranteed, okay. So. All right, regen potion's a great pickup. I would love backstab right now. I think it was, very, it was doing a lot of work last game. It's that guaranteed damage up front that helps eliminate targets for zero mana. It makes your first turn much, much, much stronger. It's good versus all the bosses, getting that burst out. Get that backstab. Yeah, boys. Deck's looking better already. 
We got knee to the balls right off the start. And bash. I don't think very much of outmaneuver as a card, guess. Alright. If we don't get a fight here, we're in really good shape. Nice. Okay, well now we got a zero hit point boss. Go up this way, of course. We can smith. Smith the dash seems to be pretty strong. Smith, 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 smith even. The backstab seems even better to me. Let's grab that. Okay. All right, courier and a regen potion, double regen potions, and jack of trades. Wow. Okay, this is a start. Okay. What a start. Okay. This allows all sorts of discarding abilities, like lets you do all the discard synergy stuff. Super cool. One of the better. I think this is one of the better cards in the game. I really like this card. Maybe not the most impactful, but very, very cool. Both of these kind of suck for us. It's very unlikely that we're going to see zero cost, unceasing top, top decks, but we'll see. Okay. All right, we're in good shape versus this dude. Need the balls. Looks good. What is this is hand. Whatever game, whatever. It's fine. We're fine. Okay. Inviscerate's too too much right now. I think outmaneuver's bad. Um, I would backflip or nothing here, and I could get behind nothing, but I'm okay with a backflip too. I don't think we're going to see Top doing anything this game, guys, so I wouldn't play around that relic. Okay. Uh, we want a second boss fight. There's a second boss fight this way. This is two camps, a boss fight, two question marks, and a card removal. That seems really strong. Yeah, we're going to go right. Calipers, ew. So relics have been garbage. It's kind of a bummer. Ah, uh -huh, you too. All right, guard removal. Got a bane up there. Can't afford any of this stuff. Could buy a third regen potion. It's kind of tempting. Get rid of that parasite. Let's think about third regen potion right now, or maybe strength potion. Hmm. Well, we could try to save up across the course of time with the courier to get a little bit better something else. Or gold? Okay. All right, fine. All right, remove, transform, or upgrade. Uh, upgrading dash sounds nice. What does tools of the trade upgrade do? An eight? No, it makes it zero. That's kind of cool. Both of those seem good to me. I'd probably upgrade the dash right now. Dash or the neutralize? Probably the dash. Maybe the neutralize. Tools upgrade. Mm. I think I'd take the second week. Maybe we don't have to draft the other weak cards. Now we'll take the other one. Tools or dash for this. Dash for this. Maybe if we get past the next boss, we can upgrade the tools. All right. Oh, okay. Taking it. Oh, God. Wow. Are you kidding me? Up to seven. I've never had it up to seven before. That's the first time. <laughs> oh, God. That hurt. All right.
Okay. Yeah, it was a great opening. Can we kill him with this? This is 12. Yeah, we definitely can. All right, that's pretty good versus the egg. Whenever we add a power to your deck, it starts upgraded. That's kind of nice. Uh, I guess we want a frozen egg before that. In case we get a power in here. No power. Um, prepared. I don't think we need the predator. We already have a nice two attack card. Uh, I'd take a prepared. I'd be kind of happy with the prepared here. Prepareds are good. Okay. Dash has huge value in the early game. Because, I mean, what do you need in the early game? You need very strong attack cards. So you can rush the bosses down, and that's a very strong attack card that simultaneously gives you a shit ton of armor. It's a really strong card in the early game. Alright. Paired it is. Cool. Let's take a look at our deck. I already have the dash upgraded, have the backstab upgraded. We're looking at Jack of Trades, or Tools of the Trades next. Okay. Make that an auto cast. Seems good. All right, future powers will be upgraded, but uh, all right, let's take a look at this fight. Do we need to regen potion this fight? Only too bad we didn't draw a flying knee here. I think we probably do. We get more regen off defeating the boss if we don't use that. <sighs> Let's greet a little bit of HP out of it. It's just if we run low on some of his strikes, it's going to be really fucking annoying. Straw. I want to get this out. We're going to take three damage here. All right, let's armor, neutralize. It's doing 12 still. This would be 13. I don't really like... Oh, I could have played the attack card, too. Alright. Got the attack card off, anyways. Card to discard. Uh, I don't think we need a backflip this turn. Just doing 12, we can get more of that back. Let's get rid of the backflip. See, I'm worried about health right now. I could see in two rounds him killing us. I think I am going to pop that. This is going to... Oh, I didn't leave enough... Shit, I didn't leave enough mana for that. That was a mistake. That was not my intended play at all. Not what I meant to do though. He's gonna armor here. So it's 16 health. So we do 12 first, then the big one, right? Yeah.
right? Let's draw. Let's neutralize. Let's draw again. Let's defend. Strike, defend. Okay. 12 damage coming out of this. It's near the balls. Strike, we're gonna take a little bit of damage here. We need to set up to try to kill him next round if possible. I'm not gonna be able to do that, it's gonna have to be two rounds from now. He's not attacking us this round, so we get some uh, chances to do stuff here. We have four mana as well. Let's draw. Let's draw again. Wait, wait. I lost the mana in there somewhere. Thought I had four mana. What did I fucking play? Hmm. Don't know. Made a mistake there somewhere. Am I considering making a guide for this game? Yeah, I am considering making a guide for this game. I've been playing it enough that I probably ought to. Oh, can we pop that? That's 24. We're gonna do 13 and 6, we cannot. Alright. Card to discard. Don't need survivor this round. Do I want to cycle this? Yeah, I do. Okay. No zip today. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, drop the defense, bash him, neutralize him, defend. Uh, it should have been a back flip, not a defend, just to cycle the cards a little bit better so I could draw the bash again sooner. He's getting pretty low. Probably kill him. Oh, it's not a good hand. Alright, defend into a flying kick. I think we call it done after that. It's not good either. That's two bad heart hands in a row. This is not enough. That's 12. We don't need much more than that, though. I guess we just pro try to block as much damage as we can there. Alright. Still taking damage, unfortunately. Oh, shit. I just threw out a card from Unending. Ceasing top. That sucks. Alright. That was closer than we'd liked. Another Jack of Trades. Tools of the Trade would be amazing. It starts upgraded because of Frozen Egg. Which means it comes in at zero cost. We can play it whenever. We can start making some pretty good discard stuff with two two uh, discards on demand. Be pretty amazing. Good old frozen egg. Now we just got to draw some actual cards that synergize with discard. Particularly the mana one. Upgraded mana discard is amazing. All right. Cool. What's the chest? Still at three mana. This is healing, which isn't isn't to be wait. That, that's not to be discarded as bad. That's actually quite good. Uh, Astrolabe would be amazing right now, and Black Star is probably not so good. Either of these would be really good. Uh, being able to choose three of these and removing them is just great. You can get rid of some shit out of our deck. We don't have a lot of control what it transforms into, and they don't transform upgraded. That's the downside of that. So it's really between these two. I, I, I kind of like the feather. Feather's a big one for me. It's like 16 health and level. Okay, Astrolabe it is. Alright, uh... Shit cards. We have good attack cards. I think I'll take two strikes and one defend. What do we got? Oh, they started upgrading. Oh, they do upgrade them. I lied. Okay, we got um Choke, Predator, and Malaise. Yeah. Those are pretty shit for this. Okay. 
I'm not very excited about that, in fact. Okay, 